been quite a while, and uh, I have an addition to my household. She's rubbing up against my feet, my kitty cat. She's a Manx. She has a three-inch tail. You want to come up here, Z? She's a good friend. Anyway, the last time I talked to you all was last August 2010, and it is now May 2011. And uh, here she is. Huh? How about that? Coming ready? Right look. Hey, I never had a camera on like this before. Oh! <laughs> Even if I don't use this video, I'll keep it for myself. I really want to get a shot of her jumping off of all fours. Anyway, maybe this would just be a very informal video. And uh, some things have happened since then concerning my health. I wasn't feeling very good there. I don't know what it was. Anyhow, I found it about... I got a diagnosed with a cancer, an aggressive form of cancer. So anyway, the MD thing, the hospital thing, wasn't working out for me. Uh, they weren't giving me answers. And I've been working A Course in Miracles for three years now. Boy, who knew that I'd need it like this, right? So. You know, uh, I was upset. <laughs> I was really upset. You know, just getting started in my life at 64 here, and uh, and then getting hit with this thing that makes that make me made me think it was really something big. You know, it's talked about in your life as something big. You know, it's like a death sentence it used to be. And so, uh, I dealt with that for a while. Thank God, I have a good friend. Gary, he's a good friend of mine. He's been a friend for a while, but now uh, he's starting to catch some of the things that I'm saying. And, uh, and he's a good musician, too. A great musician, really. Anyway, I'm glad to have him. Uh, it's nice to have as many people as you can when you get something like this. And uh, so anyway, I went through my emotional routines, anger, I got anger at my friend, too. I mean, I got, I fucking cursed his ass, man. He did something, nothing, really, you know. But uh, my expectations of what should happen from a friend, you know. You get mad, you get angry. It's good to get these things out. See, now I don't repress things anymore. If I want to say the F word to describe something, I'll do it. Sometimes in spite, you know. Still a little bit of rebellious, you know. Um, but I like it right now. Anyway, uh, I deal with this pain and uh, didn't know what it was. And so then I found out, okay, it's just this thing here, what they told me, malignant melanoma, and uh, very aggressive, and they want to try to take it out. They couldn't. It was way too late. He didn't even ask me about that. Like, we're going to go in and check it out and see what's in there? No, we're just going to go cut up another bigger hole in your arm. Yeah. See, well, I had something going on. I looked at one of my videos from last June. I was messing with my arm. Yeah, there was a thing there. And one of the local doctors cut it off and you know, did a surgery in his office. And I finally got up to getting down there and getting it done. And, uh, and then the, the follow-up was, you got this, and you got to go see this guy. And... And it was turning into painful stuff, going and trying to see these people. Anyway, I'm a Course in Miracles student. And I looked at some of the videos I talked to you guys about. And about how we have the answer. And that all, I said, people will get mad at this. That all therapy is psychotherapy and all healing is mental healing. And I know that. And that's why I'm healed, or in the process of being healed. Because I still feel, I feel the pain when I do something wrong. So let me say in reality, in reality I am healed. But in our situation here, the, 
um, that uh, you will see a course in miracles working in my life. You know, you'll see me survive this and conquer and be happy and joyful with no pain. And consistently, this is what's going to happen. Now, I turned this video on. I don't know whether I'm going to use it or not. I think I was pretty real in myself rather than trying to say something. So, let me check it out. I'm back to, I got the computer set up again and I'm back in action again here because I've been really just, uh, you know, uh, dealing quietly as, with, with everything, as quietly as I can. And you know, when you get something like this, it's not quiet. Your mind just it screws, with, screws with you, man. Screws with you. You know, I want to say something else, you know, but it messes with you, man. It's just like, uh, and so it's harder to be still. But see, I know. I know the answer. <laughs> and I know for sure. So I'm going to be okay. You know, when, this, when I'm ready to lay this body down, I told you this in the video, I'll lay it down. So, probably these videos will make more of an impact as I go on, huh? <laughs> because I'll be continuing to live. And people will see, like, wow, this really works. It really works for him, anyway. And you'll see, I'm your friend. I only want to help you. And I only want to, you know, you to be all that you can possibly be. And uh, me, too. And that's how I get it from me. By wanting it for you. Very clever, aren't I? All right, let me check it out. I'll talk to you later.